Hi everyone, welcome back to my next free tutorial Friday. Um, hope you had a great Thanksgiving for those of you in the U.S. And um, during the, let's see, I didn't post one last Friday, so during the last two weeks, uh, I've done a lecture in Vegas, had a nice Thanksgiving with family, and um, now I'm back. And I'm going to be working in the studio probably the next four months, I believe. I have four months to get how to render done. So, um, but in the meantime, I did mention a few weeks ago I would give a little guided tour of the book. So How to Draw has started shipping, um, very happy to say. And I know I've been getting a lot of nice emails from people and uh, messages on my Facebook page, so thanks a lot. I'm glad you're enjoying the book. Um, for those of you who haven't seen it yet, I'll give you a little guided tour today, and then you'll have a better idea of what it's about. So I uh, put this book together with uh, Thomas Bertling, who I've co-taught a lot of perspective drawing classes with. And I guess I'll say first thing, if you're in a store, and um, you want to know more about the book and you have a smartphone, just scan this QR code. That will show you a little demo of how the um, Android app on a Google, uh, basically an Android device, right, Google through Google Play, how that'll work. Um, and hopefully someday how it'll work on an iPad. Of course, I have it working here on my iPad and I'll show a little example of that in a bit. Um, we're still waiting for Apple approval, uh, which hopefully happens any day now. But um, it's been up on the Android uh, Google Play for about a month, and it's going pretty good, so it seems to be working well. Um, so the reason I bring that up is that this book has um, about 29 educational videos, um, six of which are from my YouTube channel, but there are 23 new ones um, that were done specifically by Thomas and myself just for this book. So last time I added it up, I think we were at about roughly 10 hours of uh, educational content that comes free with the book. And it's really an extension of the book. And we assume that you've read everything in here because we make a lot of references to page numbers in the tutorials. So watching them sort of without the book, really you're not gonna get everything um, that you can. So let me just explain uh, how we put it together in the order that we did and why. So, um, it's basically all about sketching objects from your imagination and environments. And um, so we start out with the very basics. And I'll, I'll make some differences. You know, there are a lot of good perspective drawing books out there on sketching and technical perspective drawing. And what we try to do is make a very practical book that's very relevant um, for the way that professionals work today um, and the way that you need to learn to become a professional. So it starts out with actually very simple explanation of materials. Um, there's also a links list of that um, on our SRW website for the materials. And I'll show you where, where to find that in the book at the end. It's at the end of the book. So it starts out with just basic biomechanics and drawing, straight lines, connecting points, and then ex explaining uh, perspective terminology and a lot of talk about the cone of vision and just what that is and how you need to think about it. And then some very basic um, constructions on multiplying things in perspective, um, then dividing surfaces. I'm not going to go through every single page. It'll be a long, it's 208 pages, so it'll be a long video. But just to give you an example, practical, simple constructions applied to real world objects, and then how you can start to then work backwards to draw those things from your imagination and start to build shapes. So the type of drawing that we're doing is really much more like building models. Um, it's definitely not drawing from observation. It's not about illustration, actually. It's not about making pretty pictures. It's about building volumes and building objects um, like they're built as a model. So it's really much more like model building process. So I explain a uh, one point, two point perspective, three point perspective, uh, curvilinear perspective, which is like a fisheye lens, or you could also call it a five point perspective. Um, then we get into the basic grid constructions, vanishing points, rotating objects, um, how to construct a grid when the vanishing points are off your piece of paper. Um, we also spend a lot of time in this book, which I think makes it quite different um, for a perspective drawing book. We spend a lot of time talking about using computer generated underlays and blocking out your perspective grids using a 3D program. And, you know, practically speaking, now it's become so inexpensive to get these programs like SketchUp, um, that's one program, that are you know really simple to block out your shapes. And then you get something like this, which one of our students did, Mark Castanon did this nice quick 
proportional study using a 3D program, and then he drew over the top to get this final drawing. So we tried to include a lot of that because practically speaking, um, it's faster, it's more accurate than you could do by hand. And so in the sort of production pipeline scenario, when you need to work fast and efficiently, this is a really great way to work. And so we include a lot of that. And we talk about the importance of setting up those grids and understanding the difference um, between something like a video game world that has linear perspective with very odd distortions and have usually a very wide field of vision or a large cone of vision. And then we talk about curvilinear perspective, which is much more natural in a photographic grid. So there are differences. We do explain that quite a bit. We also explain drawing types. These are some nice drawings done by one, another one of our students, Royce Centua. And we talk about some exploded views. Then we spend a lot of time on ellipses. Um, ellipses are really the basis of how we build our grids, a little spiral staircase construction. Um, and then we get right into section drawing. Uh, well, we talk a little bit about planning before perspective. So uh, working with draft views with no perspective and then um, transferring those draft views into perspective. So transferring a side view and how to do the proper foreshortening. Then building uh, XYZ section shapes. Um, and then those are really the building blocks of building more complex form and uh, projecting versus wrapping graphics across a shape, for instance, radii and fillets on a shape. And there's the, probably one of the more complex constructions in the book. But you know, by the time you're at this part of the book, we're about 100 pages in, and it's about halfway. We've sort of covered all the basics of form construction, even to an advanced level. And then we talk a little bit about line weight, um, a little bit about contour lines, overlapping, right? So you can start to get those forms to read um, without doing shading. And then there's another nice example from one of our students, from Roy again, using the section drawing. And then it breaks into subject-specific chapters after that. So then it goes to drawing environments. And we, first we talk about the way you can use drawings. And then we get into um, thumbnail sketching. And then we start doing some constructions. And then every time you see a play button, you'll see on this previous page there was also a little play button right there. I'll turn on this Nexus. OK, we'll launch the app. So what happens is that every time there is a um, play button at the bottom, you just scan the page. I'll put it out here so it turns off. And I scan the page right there. Then a little video shows up. So it's, you'll stay attached to the page as long as it sees the page. So it's actually scanning the page. That's the trigger. And then it launches an educational video associated with that um, page in the book. So if we go here, this is a small one, should fit on our screen there. There we go. And then if I hit that, and goes right into a tutorial. And then you no longer have to point at the book. You can actually, oh, that's bizarre. There's my hand, holding my hand, that freaks me out. Okay, so um, then you no longer have to point at the book. You can close the book, go sit on the sofa, watch the video, that sort of thing. And then when you're done, how do I say done in this thing? Like that. Um, and then there's a couple of Easter eggs. Sorry. There we go. When I say Easter egg, there's actually a couple 3D models. Let's see if I can get this to show up. It's difficult with the lighting. Anyway, there's a better demo of this um, via that QR code off the back cover. So just know there's a couple little uh, hidden 3D models that pop up when uh, you point at certain parts of the book. And those are not called out. Those are little surprises for you to find. So, But there are models woven within the book. And I'm sure as people find them, they'll start posting them online. And then if you have the app, you can grab your book and uh, have a look. So uh, a lot of work on environments, talking again about perspective grids. Then we jump into objects. Uh, I chose to do vehicles for, these, for my object examples, because that's usually what I like to draw. Um, and I think a lot of the basic fundamentals carry over, of course, to drawing all sorts of things. And it's up to you to design those things. So we talk a little bit about anatomy, um, doing visual research, and then drawing from observation, and what, what are the pros and cons of that, and what can you gain from that exercise, because there are definitely things you can gain from that. And then um, sketching loosely, 
um, first and then finding your shapes and then doing a line drawing over the top. I've done a lot of this on the, my YouTube channel before. In fact, those are some of the airplanes that I you know, did examples of. Building a perspective grid using an ellipse, blocking out the proportions going from side view into perspective, adding the wings, all that sort of construction. And then um, taking a looser concept from a previous page and then making a tighter drawing, doing all the section drawing, um, doing overlays, talking a lot now going into wheeled vehicles. Again, research, a uh, little made up project, drawing from observation again, and then a summary of a little what a project could look like, uh, packaging, more concept sketching, and then a lot of work on grids, a lot of work on cameras. And it's another thing that makes this book unique, I think, is that um, we spent a lot of time talking about lens lengths and choosing a lens for your sketch. So um, what does a 22 millimeter lens look like for this, uh, these wheels, this grid? And then what does it look like with a 50 millimeter lens and then a 100? And how you, uh, why you choose one over another? Um, and then how you do those constructions? And then how you do abstracted styling of that? Um, and I'm not going to give it all away because there's obviously a lot of writing and a lot of thought that went into this. So just giving you a skim, skim over the highlights of the book. Um, we talk a little bit about automotive anatomy. One of the challenges in this book was that um, the, uh, you know, the title of the book is Drawing from Your Imagination, but if you don't understand the design process, it's going to be difficult to draw from your imagination. So um, we had to weave in enough design content here so that you could have some success um, when starting to imagine your own vehicles or your own designs. So. Um, there is design process woven in throughout the book, even though it's a perspective drawing book. Um, but we needed some of that, again, to help you draw from your imagination. Setting up a perspective grid, um, proportions, doing a little automotive vehicle construction, fisheye lens or wide angle lens constructions. And then the last chapter finishes with sketching styles and mediums, which is kind of a lead into our next book, which is how to render. And so I just give a little summary and a little uh, talk about my favorite um, techniques and favorite mediums to use. And so they're all called out here. And then some of them have uh, play buttons. So if there's a play button, it means you know that there's that drawing as a tutorial. And actually, it's this truck, which was from my YouTube channel. But I slowed it down to real time, and I laid back all new audio. So it's actually quite a different experience now as being part of the book. Um, graphite, another sketch by Roy, nice colored pencil sketch, um, pen on newsprint, Copic marker and pen, right, brush pen, gouache, little digital. And we finish here with a little tone media. And so that's the nice lead into book two, which is how to render. And like I said, I'm spending the next, that's my big winter project, the next four months to finish that book. And uh, a little glossary at the back and then uh, other resources. So uh, the course I teach on schoolism, my YouTube channel, which of course you know all about, uh, workshops that I offer at my studio and around the world. So you can just scan this page, it'll play a little video, there's links there. Um, so workshops, YouTube, schoolism. And then the very last page, 206, almost the last page. If you scan this, it'll take you to the links list on our um, SRW page, or you can just type this in and there's a password. And of course, that's how you access all the videos if you don't have a smartphone or a tablet. Um, so you can access everything through that URL. And that's about it. My other titles and uh, other DVDs. Special thanks, of course. And so there you have it. That is our book. It is now shipping um, from our website, Amazon. I'll put up those two links this week. And thanks again to everybody who's bought a book. It's a huge help. Um, to keeping, obviously, advertising off of this YouTube channel. Um, so, you know, since I guess this is a commercial for the book, um, really does help if you buy this book. And um, if you can't afford it, get some friends together or get your school to buy it for you, put it in the library or get your local library to buy it. And then you can still access everything. And um, all that stuff helps to keeping this channel going because uh, these tutorials, these free tutorial Fridays take time and um, then keeps me going on book two. So again, thanks to everybody who's helped uh, so far supporting me and, uh, and Thomas and uh, can help us get back to work and uh, get, on with the next, get on with the next book. So 
thanks again and uh, really appreciate the support and have a great holiday season. Uh, I'll keep trying to stick with it once a week, but uh, holidays get tough and um, I'm tired. So, uh, but I do what I can. Have a great week. Bye-bye.